Yobrukni Shun. I know that is somewhat the camera. This is Riyak Dai Wheat returning again for Yisrael Feed Yourself. We as a nation, we must learn how to take care of ourselves. And I began this quite a few years ago, but I have not taken the time to broadcast. And uh, I want to at least two or three videos a week on how we, in this communal construct, how we live, how we operate, how we provide, and all those kinds of things. So I want to keep them limited to about 25 to 30 minutes. But I want to share with you how that if the people of Yah will consider each of them, and lay down their selfish desires. That they could have more wealth, more riches. They could live healthier, longer. Just by communing together, living together, and watching out for each other. And I'm out this morning. I am, uh, the whole community has gone to the beach. They haven't been since the three here virus ago with Corona. But they have been looking forward to uh, to the beach trip. And so I'm here. There are us that are back to make sure we watch the community. And then we will uh, we will take our trip. But let me just show you. And this is going to be focusing on feeding ourselves, how to construct things, and how to live among ourselves. This is what this is about. This is our fall raised. These are our fall raised beds. And uh, let me give you a look. This is what our fall raised beds look like. You see the kale. And you see all kinds of things in these bins and beds we raise. Broccoli. This is enough for the daughters. Right here is where the dining hall is. And they can come out and pick what they need and feed us. Of a beautiful dining facility, and you'll see all of that. There are you that have never seen that. Then we got carriage here. Each one of these bins hold 200 carriages here, and partially did not do as well this year. And also, this is some of the old stuff like the tomatoes that we grew during the summer, and they will survive here because our temperature today will be around 80 degrees. And uh, this is clovey here to enrich the soil in the beds here. You know, all the daughters love flowers here, but these are cabbages, different types of cabbages that we have here. All kinds. Everything from the uh, reds. You see that? Health and no chemicals. Everything is organic. We grow everything organically. And you will see how we have our compost and all that we mix. And then there are places that we purchase at times. This is hubs here. And I'm designing our entire community in a different way that will be more proficient. We have a tremendous amount of land here. And uh, beautiful plants. You don't see bugs and things. We just fertilize this with seaweed, kelp. And see how green it is and vibrant, the colors. Beautiful place that we live, take care of each other, assist each other. Our funds will take care of the entire community. And everyone has more than they need. This is an experiment this year that I tried with some of our compost with turkey litter and all of that it didn't turn out well but these are things this is partially and these are these are purple turnips and all kinds of things you just come out here and i love to eat i'm telling you these hot mustard greens here they are beyond delicious go to pick me one and these mustard mmm i'm telling you the spiciness and all of that. And so we grow like this. This is how we grow. 
Mm. I like that. We grow things that we need. Some, you're going to have problems with that, but this year, around this nation, the gardens did not produce as well. And this will be an oasis of gardening here. We're going to uh, create this just for raised beds and things that our daughters. We don't have to run all the way to the gardens to pick. This is what a compost pile looks like. We put everything in there. It's what we do. And how we create here. And that's what we do. And you as a nation, you must learn to honor each other and love each other. We really don't care about each other. We have been taught to despise each other, to hate each other. And when families could just get together and purchase land, and you could incorporate that. We're still eating peppers and things like that. This is broccoli. and You have to understand that here in the South, those kinds of things, or these things like broccoli and all that, doesn't do well. You got to know when to plant and how. But these are some of the crops and this will last us here during the fall, winter, and then I will begin to plant here soon. First of January, I'll begin to put out seeds. And I'll show you some of those things. I just want to give you just a little review today and look for those things that you expect to come. And um, these are beautiful beds here. Look at that. We have beautiful homes here. We'll go on to that later. That's a storage house there, a storage building. A pinkish one. All of this. Homes that we pay little or nothing for. Communities get together and they can train each other and start businesses where they can move houses and just develop. But we... We have learned such corrupt ways. We are sadistic people. This is the little greenhouse that I utilize to grow in here. I can walk out in my office right here. This is my office. Forgive me for the glare. Right out of my office here. I can walk out of that door. This is my little office. This is where I do everything. Nothing fancy. I'll take you inside. A simple little home, but this is my office here. Where I can do everything and where I do do everything. This is our home, Ima, Rafael, and I. Simple. We pay $1,500 for this gorgeous home. And we have added to it. Let me just take you upstairs. This is my Ima's desk here. This is her desk. And see, we heat by wood. This is our home, it's simple. I'm getting old and she's getting old and life has its end. And so it doesn't take much. I'm as happy or happier than those that this home would be their restroom. And so this is our simple home. I know my space is junky. I got everything there is here. And then we have a small dinette where she can prepare things for me if I desire that. But we eat in the dining hall. That's where I eat. And everything I eat comes from the dining hall, unless I get greedy for something. But this is Riyak Daiwizla's simple office. Not many books. But thousands of teachings I've taught. These books here, are nothing but teachings in them. These here catalog with everything you want to be taught on. All of these. This is our life, our lifestyle. I just want to give you just a little preview of what is to come. And how things are going to be. This is our, uh, certainly, we take advantage of the water and things like that. And that's what I've done here. Draw or take advantage of that. I got to fix or repair my Ema's bird cage right here. It's a little bird cage. But this is our home. I'm going to just give you a preview of the plaza today, okay? Hallelujah. But this is the front of our lovely home. 
I paid $1,500 for this home. Lovely. I built that deck. This is how wood. This is how we live. My next door neighbor is Zachin Yaromia. That's his home there. Beautiful home. I paid three thousand five hundred dollars for that house with it moved here. He added the upstairs and all. Very beautiful home he has. What I say to people, I've never been in his home. I like staying home. And that's his little sukha that he used for the more dim. And this is mine here. So I come out here with Imr Rafir. I built this little building here. I want to take you inside. I built it with old tin that I want to replace. We do have a heater in there. This is my backyard here. This is where Riyach Kaiwi lives with Ima. But let me take you inside of this little place here. This is my sukha. And I basically built this by myself. But this is what it looks like. See this wood here? All oh, that was trash wood. All of it. I have mirrors all the way around on the ceiling. My Ema and we will come out here and this will be the vacation cabin. Hardwood oak flooring. I got that by trading watermelons with a man. We grow our stuff organic and she has used it for a storage house. But this is how we live, simple and beautiful that no one is liking anything. We don't beg, and we don't take anything from the government either. That's a fact. We don't have no one here getting food stamps. And it's a shame if any of our people are doing that one. There is sufficient. We learn how to be unselfish and to look after each other. But you're not going to come here and try to run anything here. You meet people, oh, I want to come. And I can tell they're all about them. We're not about myself. We're about this community, this work. And everything we do is about the work here. Everything. This is Zachin. I want to show you his home. And if the Hebrew Israelites had those that go work for that old redneck white man, Learn how to move houses and all of that. You be kinder than he is. And watch the results of even his activity, his action. You can change his heart. But the only reason we don't do it because we're arrogant, full of pride. This is my Zach Kane's house right here. Now this is a beautiful home. Beautiful. This is his home here. No rents. Big home for his family. He built all of that. We purchased this home. Don't tell me you can't do it. You're selfish. We have learned to be greedy and mean. Remember this old white man saying to me was a preacher. Never forget, he said, you black folks are just like you've learned to be as evil as white folks. That's what he said to me. And this is part of our dining hall. We first came, we had to build a huge shower house. You see that shower house, laundry room, and all of that. And this is a patio here for our children. When they come out of the lab, the computer lab, and all of that, this is our dining hall. And this is our 40,000 kW generator that it supplies power to this whole community. These are swamp coolers. We don't use air conditions, but in certain places, especially with the elders. And this is a 40,000 kW generator. When it powers up, it shakes, and it moves everything here. And this is where the children come and they play, have fun during the school break. Beautiful, excuse me, beautiful little decking area. My sons, they are all my sons. They sit here and picnic, and they do all of those kinds of things. I'll just give you a brief look, and 
the computer lab, the school here. This is what our school looks like. That's part of the dining hall. That's the dining hall. They can come right down here, have their class studies here. We have a huge building over here that was the large school we had. Oh, probably 40 students, but we, we have condensed that. And this is what the teachers teach. And teach them Spanish and sign language. And beautiful view outside. It's modern. They all have computers. Every last one of them have laptops you can see on the desks. And then I'm getting get a little excited about this, a little excited, because I love my home and my community. Let me just take you. Oh, they got the door locked. But this is our dining facility. This is where you can sit, have fellowship. I love the beauty of arts. I love it. I designed all of this. I could not have built it. But my young Achim, my Achim, we built this, the Daughters of Zion. This is where we all come to eat twice a day. And you don't miss the meals. You can eat what you want to at home. But you're going to come and see each other in fellowship. And this is where we eat and everything. This is where we gather here. This is just one segment or one section of it. I want to do this today just to show us. And then we have this little area here where they come in. Where the young ones, they come out here and sit and they can conversate and all of that. And then they come through this direction here. We have a serving bar. I'm somewhat awkward, but don't worry about that. <clears throat> and this is the place where we come and serve ourselves. It's a beautiful place, clean and immaculately clean. And this is where we come and we enjoy ourselves with each other every day, twice a day. And once on the Shabbat, this is where we come. We have our ice machine that make ice and these are some of the things the children have done. I don't have much light in here, but we'll go through this again from our school. And this is the main segment here. And this is where we gather. This is how we do it here in Teshua. We have the Teshua, the victory, Yoshua Hamashiach. These are the commandments here with the tribes of Yisrael. Decorative and pretty. I don't say this to be verbose, but I design everything. Everything you see here, every color, every table, everything I purchase, use, everything. And this is where the young men sit down here, that's place to fellowship. And those are the singular and dining hall here, the place where I haven't been down there in so long. I don't go in here. This is for the daughters, and I don't go. That's Ima Rafael there. Say hi, Ima. Hi. And that's a hot Dorona there here. We have all the uh, instruments. Say hi. All right, we have all the instruments we need, state of the art in the sense. And this is how we live and how we operate with each other in great love and care, trying to love each other. And this is where I sit here with my beautiful babies, Ima Rafael. And this is the system, the swamp cooler that keep us cool. No, it doesn't make it 68 degrees, but we're cool. And we heat through these large vents here. And this is our dining facility. That's important. This is our dining facility. We're going to have many videos that will 
strengthen your hearts. The COVID is not over, but we're going to open the doors for you to come. We have a tremendous hotel in this area that we have one up that uh, he knows them and they will give you a great deal. We don't let anyone come here for the first time and stay on the properties. Because I love you people, but you all can be quite crazy. I've dealt with too many over the many years, 27 years. And that's factual. I, will, I have dealt with those that have never even lived like this. Come to try to tell me. You shut your mouth. You're not telling me nothing when it comes to this kind of life. And so this is just kind of like the central area, the, the place. This is part of my little small house. I say we had a tiny house before tiny houses were even this uh, come so popular. We had a tiny house, and this is how we lived. My Emma and I, we were the first ones to move on these grounds before anyone. And uh, while you all, these are huge tanks where we will take advantage of the water off the roofs. And here is going to be an oasis of growing space, maybe small trees, because we have grown everything, pecan trees, blackberries, we have grown everything. Part of our school. <clears throat> and then we do have handicap access. Someone that's crippled. They can come through here. Up the plaza. It's a lovely place to live, nation. But I'm going to show us every inch of the place. The garden again. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the beauty of it. Look at how beautiful that is. Green and just chlorophyll, just my. Look at that. You see that beautiful home down there? I want to show you. You other people that say you love each other, you care for Yisra'ya, but you really don't. Because you would make, you would make the provision. I didn't have one single dime when I came here. I gave it all to these works. Places for them to sit. Fellowship. Look at this. Beautiful fellowship here. They can come and fellowship and sit the Achim, the daughters of Tizayon. And this is our plaza here. The Achim, we built this. Unskilled men. We were. <clears throat> but we built it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deck here for the daughters of Tizayon, the fellowship, or anywhere. It, the Achim. Ah, uh, you see that? I'll walk up on that. There's a lot. It's always work to do, and I'm always redirecting. We have great, I told people, this is one of my grills here. I haven't used it in so many years. I got to get a covering for it. This, but this is the big daddy here. And these, who I love to cook. But I can't, like I used to, because you see this? I use this now. I'll show you why I use this now. Uh, this is what we do. This is how we live. And we're not apologizing to no one the way we live. You can identify us as anything you want to. But we care for each other. And that's a fact. This right here is a system that produces hot water. For this and everything. I'll just give you a peek inside of here. You see that? So we have things where if there is no electricity, gas, we can't create the water we need for our people and take care of them. We can do that. We got huge tanks and all of that we will show you that we can capture water every place around here. We will place two on that building just for the gardens. We can come out and fellowship and bond with each other, get mad at each other. But yet, we can address those issues among each other and learn how to care and to truly love. That's my big warrior there. He is 
a Hebrew giver. He's a warrior, man of strength, might. I love him. This is the place that I cook here. This is the fellowship here, one of them. And I cook here. I don't cook like I used to. Well, the last time we fellowship, we, I cooked guinea and things like that. And this is a cooler here that will cool the building off. All the tribes of Yisrael around the wall. Let me turn my light on in here, it's dark. But you'll see this again. You'll see it again. This is my place of cooking, where I prepare my dishes that I want to prepare, right here with everything we need. Everything I need is right in here, all kinds of spices. And everything right out of the door to my grill. And this is where I prepare foods of all kind. You can look out here and see the children playing. You see that beautiful playground there? That beautiful building? That's the daughter's house of Tizayon. Beautiful homes, little buildings that we put up for people when they will come for a tabernacle. And fellowship with us. This is a painting that I redid. It is just a collage. It's just the color. I call this the color. The beauty of Yah's kingdom. I had one of the young daughters who began the process. And I finished this for her. Fire please it with a big wood burning stove. We can heat. We come in here and sit around the daughters or the sons. Yisrael, we even eat in here, we fellowship in here. We do all those kinds of things. Whereby many live in rat hole cities. And I don't apologize when we live among rats and roaches and thieves and liars. Thousand dollars a month rent for a small room? That's foolishness. And then you got to work all week. Make sure there is apt to pay the bills. We don't do that here. Our daughters take care of their homes, their children, the school. Now they do that. That's what they do. That's what they do. This is where the we are came and the daughters will come. And, the fall is here. We got acorns everywhere. You see these chairs? See, I bought these chairs 20 years ago. Painted them and put them here. I think I paid $15 a chair. This is the deck. You see all this deck here? And all this stuff right here? See all of that? See all this deck? I built that for a little of nothing. A company down here, Tucker, Tucker Lama Company, that was a white boy. I like to call people like that that are kind and friendly. I call them white boys. I like a white boy. He would bring us all this wood. He said to me, preach, I love bringing you stuff because you use it. And I can appreciate that. And this is a, a deck out here where the young ones come out here and get silly and have fun with each other. That's a little playground for our babies. And I got to get this sad box right here. You that listen to this, send me $2,000 so I can get the right sand. This is not the proper sand for it. You come, your children, they can get sand all in their feet and fingers. You see that building, that pink fence over that way, salmon color? That's a concrete or a pool for our children. Yeah, they swim. They got their own pool and it's lovely. The building next door is a shower house. And that's part of the school. See that there? We'll get more on that. And between that is the graveyard. This is a huge place. Very huge. You see the water tank? You see that? Building here with supplies and everything. I was going to make a little home there. Still can. Look at the acorns and all of that. Great time. I'm going to involve you all so that you 
can speak to those that are taking all the ties and wearing thousand dollar suits. My clothing might you show me. Ah, this is my pun here, the core. This is our pun. Is that gonna work, uh, you wash it up? Yes, this netting? Well, you can't even see them. Ah, we got quite a bit of leaves in there too. But that's all right, we'll keep it like that. This is the core pond here with our fish. Are they acting up right there? We gotta get that, what you call, off of that one. The, uh, this is our core pond, core. This right here, basically, I built this. I laid all of these blocks. The sun is really affecting this. Let me get here. We get in that water. I'd rather have that little bit than what we've had in the past. Yes, sir. But this is it here. This is a koi pond. I designed that and I built that. Beautiful place for friendship and fellowship. Come out of the house and sit. These are the monsters like your washer dog. He is one of my, he is my, he's my monster. I'm no monster no more. And this is our playground. And they, and we built this. I designed this building, but they built it. For our babies. They can fellowship and safe. We got playground areas more than this. I'll show you. I'm just giving us just a synopsis, just of the little things they got. Huge trampoline. And I put the goal up just for the young daughters, but the boys always out here trying to take over. Basketball goal. But this is where they come. And they play here all 